We wanted confrontation, nonviolent confrontation, to see if it would work, not just for Birmingham, for the nation. We were trying to launch a systematic, wholehearted battle against segregation, which would set the pace for the nation. Freddie Lee Robinson was born in Mount Meigs, Alabama on March 18, 1922. Moving to Birmingham when he was still a toddler, Freddie took the surname Shuttlesworth from his stepfather, William Shuttlesworth, who had married his mother, Alberta, and worked as a farmer and a coal miner. After graduating valedictorian from his high school, Fred worked assorted jobs before finding his calling at the pulpit, studying in the ministerial institution Selma University, earning his BA in 1951, and later earning his BS from Alabama State College. In 1953, Fred became the pastor of Birmingham's Bethel Baptist Church. After the Brown vs. Borden ruling, he was inspired to actively participate in the growing civil rights movement. Noticing high rates of police brutality in his community, Fred called for the hiring of African American police officers, and with the outlawing of the NAACP in Alabama, Fred established the Alabama Christian Movement for Human Rights in 1956. He was the co-founder of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference with other prominent black leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Byard Rustin. Fred, with Martin Luther King and fellow minister Ralph Abernathy, would later be seen as one of the movement's big three. After the desegregation of Montgomery buses, inspired by Rosa Parks, Fred began organizing efforts in Birmingham to implement bus desegregation as well when his residence was bombed on Christmas with the pastor still inside. Later, when he and his wife took their daughter to integrate a white school, the couple was brutally attacked by a Ku Klux Klan mob. Despite the attack, Fred remained a prominent leader within the civil rights movement moving to Cincinnati in the early 60s, but still traveling routinely back to the South. After the May 14, 1961 attacks on the Freedom Riders, Fred provided refuge for the activists. He also convinced Martin Luther King Jr. to have Birmingham become a focal point of the movement and organize well-documented youth-driven marches and protests. Fred also played a major role in the 1965 Selma to Montgomery Voting Rights March. Fred later established the Greater New Lights Baptist Church in the mid-1960s in Cincinnati. In the 1980s, he founded the Shuttlesworth Housing Foundation, which provided grants for home ownership. Fred received the Presidential Citizens Medal from Bill Clinton in 2001. In 2007, Fred moved back to Birmingham, where he died on October 5, 2011, at the age of 89 years old.